Hey, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper back at you with Plug In Boutique and today we're checking out the new synth by Rob Pappin called Go To. This is a synth that's designed for everybody. There are no hidden pages or modules. Everything is right here for you. It's super easy to use and you get some incredible results. In fact, the intro track that we just were playing there has three instances of the Go To on it. In this video, I'm gonna go ahead and make a patch with you. It's gonna be the plucky lead, but I wanna go ahead and run through the other sounds that are inside of this project just so you can get an idea of the range you can get from Go To. First up, we got the bass. So very nice bass sound there. And if you come into the manager, you can see that we got quite a bunch of presets. We got presets of all different types and each one of these preset types has a full bank inside of it, or at least a stacked bank. We're talking about 40 different bases alone in here. Jump out, come over to the synth. So that's the synth lead we're actually gonna be making in this tutorial, but before we do that, I'm just gonna jump over to this right here. And that's just sitting in the back behind that lead synth. Okay, so here we are inside of Go To, and I'm gonna go ahead and recreate that plucky lead sound that I just showed you, and along the way, talk about how to use the synthesizer. The first main section is this one right here in the left, and it allows you to morph between up to two different waveforms. We can choose the waveforms by these drop downs right here, so I'm gonna come into Spectrum Waves and just choose Spec 04. And now I can mix between that in the second wave in different ways. So as you can see here, I got a mode drop down. I can go mix, morph, ring mod, frequency modulation, wave shape, enter, and range. So I'm gonna actually flip through these so you can hear the difference. I'm gonna pull down this to mix them at about 50-50% and flip through the ranges by hitting the plus button. <laughs> So I'm gonna leave it on wave shape, but just know that each one of these is gonna give you different results. And I'm gonna come into wave two and actually change it to, you know, let's choose spec seven. Now this XY pad changes how the two waveforms are morphed together and actually can automate the morphing itself over time. I'm gonna go ahead and load one. So if I come down here to load XY preset, I've just got this crazy spiral thing. And this is what it looks like. So I can adjust how many points are on it by clicking the plus or minus buttons over here. You can see that the waveform back there is moving as well. You can come in and right click and choose another a number of these different presets right here from this menu. And I really suggest getting in and playing with this thing. Oops, I see I've moved this one, <laughs> this one point right here. Uh, but you can also make your own by recording it and doing things of this nature as well. But again, I'm gonna come in, you see what's happened here? The movement was recorded. So if I record again and just do something like this, and then go back to play, you'll see that that movement was recorded in terms of points, and there's 128 right there. You know what, let's just leave it right there, but that's a fun way to do it too. You can also do live and actually get in there and just move it around by yourself, which is also gonna give you crazy results. But let's keep honing this sound so we don't spend too much time inside of here. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down the filter. So I've turned down the filter here, but I've sent it to this envelope, which can be trolled right here. And what's really cool is actually, if you don't wanna use the uh, graphic interface here, you can actually hit this dial envelope so you can actually see your dials if you prefer. Cool. 
Let's jump over here. I'm going to turn Portamento on just a little bit, just in case there's any overlapping notes. I don't think there is in this particular one, but it's good to have it on just in case, especially if we're going to be saving this for a, uh, you know, a preset or something. Unison mode. I'm going to go to detune it just a little bit. Turn the spread up. I'm gonna leave the bend off. I'm not gonna be using my pitch bend right now, but it's right here if you want. You can go up to 48 or two, what's that? Jeez, four octaves. That's a pretty big <laughs> bend if you ask me, but it's controllable right there if you wanna use it. Jump into the amp here. Right, that sounds pretty good. Let's turn up the reverb. That's helping. And let's turn the chorus on. And that sounds pretty good. Let's jump back into the track right now and see if it sounds good in the context. And then if we need to make any more changes, we can. But before we do that, I just wanna point out, we do have an LFO over here. We do have another envelope section and we do have an arpeggiator right here as well with a step with all the steps laid out for us so we can control them. Now this isn't an arpeggio patch, but it's there when you need it. Go back into the track, turn off that old one and let's listen to the new one. Sounds great, does it not? So anyway, uh, that's how you make a lead pluck using the new Go To by Rob Pappen. It's a really powerful synth. It's really entry level, but powerful at the same time. So if you're new to the game or if you're just looking for a new sound, Go To is the way to go. Links in the description of this video. I'm Joshua Casper. I hope you learned something. We'll see you next time.